In towns like Bucha, cut off from the world for nearly six weeks, the shocking extent of civilian deaths is now out in the open. In this small suburb of Kyiv, Russian troops terrorized residents. Photographs and video document the scope of Russia's campaign of killing. Pieces of Ukrainian life in the mud. Bodies are wrapped in plastic bags and ditches. People in plain clothes lay on the streets, their hands and feet bound. And from above, satellite images show mass graves. We get the impression that the Russian occupiers have got the green light from Putin and Shoigu, the Russian defense minister, to have a safari in Ukraine, and they weren't able to take Kyiv. So they vented their frustration on Bucha and the surrounding areas. Ukrainian officials say Bucha has hundreds of victims, the elderly, women, and children among the civilians killed because of Vladimir Putin's territorial ambitions. You may remember I got criticized for calling Putin a war criminal. Well, the truth of the matter, you saw what happened in Bucha. This warrants him he is a war criminal. President Biden says he's seeking more sanctions that will soon be announced. The U.S. has been gathering evidence of war crimes. And the International Criminal Court launched an investigation last month. These areas about which we talk have been under the occupation, under the control of the aggressor of the Russian troops. Or they've been bombed out by the aggressor, the Russian troops. So, of course, there is no one else who could have committed these atrocities. Russian officials deny committing atrocities in Bucha, calling it a fake attack. But witnesses tell grim stories. I saw women killed. What the most awful, I saw a body of burnt in the vehicle, boy or girl, a child, I don't know, maybe six, seven years old. It's so awful, it's hard to explain. One woman from Butcher who spoke with Human Rights Watch told us about a day in early March where she was gathered with other civilians by the Russian soldiers and five uh, Ukrainian men in plain clothes were brought into the same uh, roadside. They were made to kneel down with their hands behind their back and then the soldier lifted the t-shirt of one of the men and shot him in the head. When they came back to the same area the next day, they saw the, the body of the man who'd been executed um, still lying there. Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky, visiting Bucha Monday, said the crimes will be recognized by the world as genocide. Current and former U.S. ambassadors to the U.N. are calling for Russia to be suspended from the U.N. Human Rights Council. Meanwhile, on the streets of Bucha, Ukrainians were using cables to move the dead. Out of fear, the Russian forces had hidden explosives under bodies. And with Russian troops retreating in the north and repositioning in the east, there are fears the world will see more devastating scenes of human suffering.